Hello, my name is Merle. In case you're new here, and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we will start making a 43 centimeter tall Wings Club BJD. Wings Club is one of my absolute favorites, my happy place. Not only does it have a good story, magical girls, sparkles, drama, and a few bangers, but also an amazing girl cast with a good range in personalities. But sadly, I don't own any of the Wings dolls, so I decided to create my own. So let's get started with the one and only, the sassy fashion queen diva, Stella. The Fairy of the Sun, Moon and Stars Breaking news! A new magic babe has arrived the scene. Well, a uh, second version that is at least. I made some changes to the body and I'm so happy with all of them. But I will go into an in-depth video of it in another video, not today. Let's focus on this project for now. Because my babe is based off of my fashion illustrations with a stylized body, I thought she would be a perfect fit for the Wings Club girls. The long legs, the wider hips, the small waist, the big boobas, and oversized head. Ideally, I would love to give all the girls different body types like Monster High has them, but I only have limited resources, so I have to stick with the base concept for these redesigns of my girlies. After rewatching the show, uh, for research of course, and browsing Pinterest like no other, I came up with this concept. Because Stella is a princess, I have to be very particular about the fabrics I'm choosing for this doll. They have to read expensive. For on top of this, I also want to create a beautiful coat for her. And here's the design I came up with. So let's work some magic. I start by wrapping the doll in saran wrap and paper tape to then be able to mark out the pattern pieces on the tape to later be able to sew a mock-up of the skirt and top. And here's also the sample of the mentioned coat. Let's cut out the top from the silk. After cutting it all out, I proceed to fray check it. And sew the darts first. From here I can sew the shoulder seams together and front seam. Next the side seam, and before I do that I want to line the top with this mesh. Almost done. And it's ugly. It's too bulky and it just, no, it just does not sit right. So back to starting over the top. <laughs> Sniff. Darts, front seam, shoulders, hemming by gluing the edges down with uhu glue, closing the side seams. And ta-da! Almost finished. Just a closure is missing. The top looks way better this way. But to get that wrap strap look that I was going for, I also have to make some strips for it, which I make by using my uhu glue, and then just have to sew them on to the back of the top. Get back to your little exercise, girls, and leave this problem to the specialists. When are the specialists gonna get here? Oh snap. Onto the skirt. I'm upcycling an old skirt of mine for it. I'll cut out. Once again, I need to fray check all the edges. Oh, there's even the top. <laughs> by using this clear nail polish for it. I start by sewing the front and sides pieces together. Then the back, but leaving the slits open unsewn. Now I can just go and glue all the hems around with my uhu glue. When that's done, I can close up the center back seam, but leaving some space for the closure. Also, the waist has to be hemmed as well with my glue. Done. On to the next thing. You look scary. Griselda, head of discipline. She is scary and in bad need of a makeover. Last year, she destroyed the potions laboratory with an unauthorized magic spell. You really did that? 
I was trying to create a new shade of pink. For the wig cap, I'm using stockings once again, but this time I'm using wood glue as recommended from Pablo from Hopeful Creations. This wood glue, I stick on one layer, it has a nice thick consistency and it goes just way faster. I'm never going back to my old glue. But for today's hair, I'm using these extensions. I just have to take these clips apart. I ended up with almost one meter of wafts. Now I just have to start gluing the wafts on layer by layer from the back up. When I reach the height for my plant pigtails, I roll up a waft and hot glue it in place. Like so. Now I have to struggle to make these parting wefts. I think th this fiber is nylon. It was super hard to make it do what I want. Now I just have to cut the first layer of the bangs. It's getting there. It's not quite yet what I want, but I will finish it off camera. We'd be dead a lot sooner if you know who had helped us. We agreed that you were gonna clean the floors. No, you two agreed. Hey, you want me to break a nail? Nails. Stella needs some long, delicious nails. I haven't tried this yet, and I'm super excited to make these long nails. I watched a few YouTube videos on how to make it, so let's get started. Using hard resin, my UV flashlight, nitrile gloves, a mask, better is a respirator mask, and a little cup to put my resin into so I can spread it out more easily. Now I just have to mimic what I saw in the videos. It's a little bumpy, I will try again. It looks much better, and the taping technique was much better this time around too. This part, oh my gosh, so satisfying. I'm definitely vicariously living through these gorgeous nails. I could do this for hours. Nail art time! I forged through my gems to find the right size and colors. Hmm, I don't know. Much better. And I added some rings. We don't want to blow up the science lab. Been there, done that. I cut out some PVC leather to create an iconic Y2K purse. Before I sew it though, I have to add some eyelets. All sewn together. This necklace will have to be taken apart to be made into a chain strap for the purse. Ta-da! A functional little holographic purse. My nemesis, shoebases. <laughs> I hate them. Once again, I will create some shoebases out of this air dry clay. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when my next video will be up and available for you. I know you're curious to see how these hideous shoebases are going to turn out. Catch the Winx Club each weekend in the Fox Box. See you there! Next video, we will be continuing with the shoes, make the coat and add more accessories, style the wig, and the face-up, of course, can't be missing. See you next time. Stay magical. Bye-bye!